Hey doing everyone, this is Joe from Mahogan Out. I hope you guys are having a great day. Now before we get on with this video, the Arctic Morph, making an appearance in this video in the beginning is Nirvana. Nirvana is my male Arctic Conda. He is gorgeous. He's around 60 grams right now and he is a beauty. And when it comes to identifying an Arctic, guys, we're gonna be looking at a couple pictures of Nirvana here in a little bit. And also making an appearance in the beginning of this video is Syl, my female Arctic Superconda. She is incredibly gorgeous. She actually just shed it two weeks ago. And we're also gonna be looking at some pictures of Syl here and how we identify Syl as an Arctic. All right, so you're being a little frisky right now. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Now, when it comes to the Arctic morph, this is going to be my main morph I'm going to be working with when it comes to producing, eventually, the elusive Super Arctic Super Conda. Now, in general, I just love Arctics. I just like the way they look. They have that grungy look on them when it comes to the flecking. And I just think the Super Arctic Super Condas look incredibly beautiful. Even the Super Arctics in general look really beautiful. And it's really hard to find a Super Arctic Super Conda online to purchase. And if you do find one, say on Morph Market, it's going to cost you at least $2,500 for one. So my breeding plan for Arctics is within one to five years to produce eventually a pair of Super Arctic Super Condas because you know what? Like I said, you don't see too many of them out there. Now, what is the Arctic Morph, the Super Arctic Morph? It's an incomplete dominant trait. You can actually breed an Arctic with a normal and actually produce Arctics. Most common visual representation of Arctics present with higher contrast animals where the pattern has dark black outline and white edging and fading towards the center of the pattern. Flecking, which we're gonna see a couple pictures of Nirvana, is usually present over the whole body of the animal. Some animals will present with more of a gray desaturated color. Now, extreme reds and higher color parents tend to make identification of this morph more complicated. Comparison to normal siblings is important when identifying Arctic animals. Now, when it comes to the Super Arctics, which I'm aiming for in the next one to two years, Super Arctics are the most complete form of the Arctic trait and present a high contrast animal that is born extremely dark, almost black. But with each shed, the animal develops more progressively, more contrast, eventually resulting in a snake that almost looks black and white. Now, after reading that, guys, there's a few things we need to look at when it comes to the Arctic morph. The first thing is the black outlining on the pattern of the hog nose. Along with that black outline on the outside, you'll see white edging, which we're going to see a couple pictures here of my hog noses. We also need to look at facial features. They tend to be more darker than your normal hog noses. The flecking on the face is a really good indicator. Also, when you look at the face, the side patterns, you will notice that there is a very deep black outline with white edging. And the final thing I look at when it comes to identifying an Arctic is the flecking over the whole body, as you see here in this picture when it comes to Nirvana. Now, when it comes to the baby Arctics, it's pretty hard to identify them, but guess what, guys? The details are there. Each time your baby Arctic sheds, you will see these details of the Arctic trait become more prevalent, more exposed. So here are two pictures. On the left, you're gonna see Annie, which is a normal conda, and on the right-hand side is Nirvana, my Arctic male conda. Now, when you look at Annie on the left-hand side, she has a little flecking, but not as prevalent as Nirvana has on his body. Now the telltale sign of an Arctic, especially if you have a conda or just a normal Western Arctic, is the black outline on the pattern with the white edging. Now when it comes to Arctic supercondas like Syl, she is my female Arctic superconda, when you look at her dorsal pattern, you can see there's a lot of black outline with the white edging. But when you look at her face, guys, it's a huge indicator that she is indeed an Arctic. What we're gonna do right now, if you're interested in breeding Arctics, we're gonna look at the Morph Market Calculator to see what you could possibly produce in the future. Now, when we look over the Morph Market Calculator, we're gonna be looking at a clutch size of nine on each. Now, when it comes to pairing a normal hog nose with an Arctic, you have a 50% chance of producing Arctics and a 50% chance of producing normals. Now, when it comes to pairing two Arctics, you have a 25% chance of producing super arctic. So I have a clutch size of nine, you have the possibility of producing two super arctics. Now, when it comes to pairing an arctic anaconda with an arctic, I have a clutch size of nine, you have a 13% chance producing maybe one out of the clutch, a super arctic anaconda. 
Now, when it comes to pairing an Arctic Super Anaconda with an Arctic Anaconda, clutch size of nine, you have a 13% chance of producing the four trait Super Anaconda, Super Arctic. That is my main goal. Now, when you pair two Arctic Super Anacondas, you have a 25% chance of a clutch size of nine, being two out of the clutch, being, of course, the four trait, Super Anaconda, Super Arctic. So this is my final goal when breeding Arctics. When it comes to pairing both Super Anaconda, Super Arctics, at a clutch size of nine, you have a 100% chance of producing the same. So there you have it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video going over the Arctic Morph. A little guide for you guys, especially if you're really into the Arctic Morph and you really are into breeding Arctics. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. If you're in the market of purchasing a baby hognose or if you have a baby hognose, check out my playlist down below, your first baby hognose. I'm also over at Instagram. Check me out over there, hogging out NJ. Every two to four days, I post pictures of my hognoses along with shorts video clips. That being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your weekend. This is Joe from Hogging Out. I'm out. Cheers.